So in our last video, we went ahead and created the skeleton UI animation using the vanilla React Native animated API. In today's video, we'll go ahead and convert that into using the React Native reanimated API. So first, let's go ahead and install React Native reanimated. We'll say yarn add React Native reanimated, and we'll go for version 1.9. Let's go ahead and import an animated from React Native reanimated. So we'll say import animated. And we'll also get easing from reanimated. We're obviously going to get some errors. Here, let's just get rid of the use effect and save that out. So we already have an animated value. Next, we need to create a clock. So we'll say const clock. It's going to be a new clock. Make sure that clock is imported in here. And then we'll use the use code hook to actually trigger animation when our component loads up. So here we'll get a block. Inside that block, we'll first start the clock. And then we'll use set to set the animation value by saying set animated value. And here, we'll run a timing function. Let's call that run timing and pass in our clock. Now we have to go ahead and create this run timing method outside a skeleton component. Let's say run timing is equal to clock. So basically inside our runtime method, we're going to actually be calling the timing method that's already available to us from reanimated, but we're going to be configuring it for our particular use case. If we just have a look at the documentation, the built-in timing method takes a clock which we're already passing into our runtiming method. And then we need to set up some values, which we can consider as the state variable. And lastly, we're going to set up the config of our particular timing animation. We're going to be mainly using the code that's already available in the documentation. So first we set up our state, then our config, and then inside a block, we run our animation method. So back to our runtiming. Here, let's first set up our state. So we need a finished value. Value is automatically imported from React Native Reanimated. Then we have position, which is also a new animated value. Frame time and time. So finished will be set to one when the animation completes. Position is what is updated by animation. Frame time is the progress of the animation and time is the last evaluated clock time. Next, let's set up our config. So we'll say const config. Set the two value to a new value of one. The duration we want is 1000 milliseconds and the easing that we want is easing dot in out. Now we need to actually run the animation. So here we'll return a block. Inside this, we already have the clock running because we started it before calling run timing. So here we just pass in our clock, pass in our state and pass in our config. Once the animation is complete, we will check if it's complete and set all the values back to zero so that the animation starts again. See so here we'll say condition equal to state dot finished. If that's equal to one, then we'll set state dot finished to zero, set state dot position to zero, set state dot frame time to zero. And lastly, set state dot time to zero as well. Lastly, we'll just return the state dot position. And here, instead of an equal to, there should be a colon. And just make sure that everything required is imported in. So here, I think we need timing. We need condition. We need equal to. But now we see we're getting a new error. And that's because easing works slightly differently in reanimated. Easing dot in out is actually a method. And inside this, we need to pass in the easing type by saying easing.ease. 
and there we see our easing dot in out is working and our animation is complete. We can just make some final changes to our code by coming down here in our use code we only want this block to run when either the clock is updated or the animated value is updated. Lastly we can come to app.js and here in our and here in our use effect hook we can just update our timeout. Let's save that. And as we can see, after two seconds, our UR component has shown up. 